Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I have for you another Design With Me video, and this time we're just going to be using Cricut Design Space. We're not going to be using any other programs, we're not going to be using Inkscape, we're just going to be using Cricut Design Space, and the only thing we'll need to install are the fonts that we're going to use for this project. So, I'm going to use fonts from the Augusto bundle, and the reason I chose this bundle is because our project today is revolved all around fonts. We're going to be making uh, date covers, or date, date headers, those little stickers that go over either undated planners or a planner maybe you want to redate, that go at the top of your columns. And those are based off of mainly different fonts. So what we're going to do is navigate over to the Augusto bundle. You can see there's a bunch of fonts right here and there's also some clip art that you can use in other projects later on down the road. You just want to purchase this, go ahead and download it. It does come in five parts, but I have found that the fonts seem to all be in this first download here. So I found this in my downloads folder. I'm just going to double click on this first font. You can unzip all of these files. I'm not going to, it's not necessary for you to do that. So I'm just going to double click on fonts, double click on all fonts. I'm going to scroll down. I know that I want to use this Rosie and Kelly, Kylie, I keep saying Kelly, Kylie font here because it's a font duo. There's going to be two fonts that you can download and rather than playing around and finding some font pairs, I just want to do this really quickly. So you can click on Rosie and Kylie, double click on Rosie, double click on tack and hit install. This one's already installed and I'm working on my Windows 7 computer here. So, um, but this one is already installed. I already did that. Then you can go back over here, back Kylie, click on Kylie and hit install. This is going to be our um, script font that we're going to use. Then you may want to close out of your uh, web browser before you go over to Cricut Design Space. Close out of that and reopen it and go over to design dot cricket dot com and that is going to bring you up to your Cricut design space we're just going to click on new project and we're going to do something super super simple here we can enter a shape so click on shapes click on square we're going to make sure we insert a shape over here go to our um where we can manage the size and change the size and unlock the proportions. Now a general rule, I guess, or a general thing that these date headers are, they are usually 1.5 inches wide. And that's because the columns across a lot of different planners in the planner community are one and a half inches wide. When it comes to height, I personally set it here, 0.4. 0.45. I think that's a really good um, height for these guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and lock the proportions. I'm also going to go over to my layers pane over here and change this over to be print. I'm going to make it a lighter color just so I can see it a little bit better. Um, and then I'm going to zoom in here. So now we can go ahead and overlay our font. So we can go text, type in something like Monday, and then we can go change our font. So the font selection is right here. We're going to go to system. First, we're going to type in Rosie. And that's going to bring this up. Here's a quick bit of trivia if you would like to know. This is a serif font, meaning it's got these little tick marks here. And oftentimes it's going to have a thinner upstroke and a thicker downstroke. So if you see something labeled as a serif font, then it's going to have these little tick marks. It's going to look more like newspapery, like Roman numerally kind of. Um, if you want to know what a serif font is, let's go over here. We'll see. So like this. This is a serif font, or I'm sorry, a sans serif font. This is a serif font, another serif font. Um, sans serif, serif, sans serif. You can see this one has little tick marks, this one doesn't. So uh, that's a little bit of trivia for you if you care about that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. We're going to resize this guy. You can also go over here to your sizing and type in 1.5. I think that's going to be a little bit too big. We can select all of these, go to align, center horizontally. That's going to be a little too wide. It's going to fit right at the edge, and that's not necessarily what I want. So I'm just going to size it down a little bit, align, center horizontally, and maybe just a tad bit more, align, center horizontally, and then we can also center vertically. So we've got that. Now we want to insert our uh, scripty looking font. So I'm going to write Monday again. 
But this time I'm going to go to font. I'm going to click on system and I'm going to search for the other font that we have. So we have this font here. Now you can see that the words or the letters are spaced out a little bit. I'm going to just bring this down a little bit here for right now and then when we get closer to being done with our project I'll go and fix this Y here. So we can change this to be print. We can change this to be print as well. Remember we're making a print then cut project. I'm going to go ahead and make my background here white. This is going to be the sticker paper color. You don't need it to be anything else. You just need it to be white. Now we can go over here and maybe find some really fun colors that we want to use that maybe match our um, layout. If we have stickers we've already made, we could use something like this to match it. Um, we could type in a hex code and you know make your stickers sort of match what your your overall layout is going to be. So I think I'm going to go with something like a light a lighter color in the background here and then I'm going to take this guy make it a little bit smaller it's so hard to work with this background being white I don't want to make it this weird brown color but I think I'm going to so we can play around here and then let's make this white so we can see it better here so we have this Monday and that Monday and I think it looks really cool I want to make this brown again so I can see where I'm putting this Y if it's too far out of where we're cutting here so we can do it like that then we can go and add text again and add like the 12th size that down you can even make it bigger you could do whatever you want we're gonna go over here make this print Monday the 12th we can hold shift down group those two together center them like this and then um, we can go over here I haven't worked in design space in ages let's see group right click and select group so we've got that so then we can go over here change this to white and now we have some really cute little headers you could even do this much more simply right click ungroup delete this Monday go in here double click Monday space the 12th and I don't even mind that why I was gonna move that around but I don't even really mind it so we've got that so then we can go over here right click duplicate move this over here I'm going to let's see if we can select that one yep double click Tuesday we may need to resize it here so let's click on this background let's make it white again or I'm sorry this little like brown color we can hold down our shift key let's see here hold down our shift key and select the background and the rosy font go back over here to align center horizontally see how that works we may need to make this smaller a little bit and like a, like a lot of my tutorials, it's all about just playing around and, you know, seeing what looks good for you. So then we can write out Tuesday and now make this back to white. Now we have our, oh, it helps if you write Tuesday the 13th. Let's see if we can align center horizontally. Cool. So now we have our Tuesday date header and all you would do is just complete those for you know Tuesday Wednesday I'm waking up at 5 a.m. <laughs> went Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday etc and then you can go ahead and print them out um, what you'll want to do to make sure so if we hit make it right now everything is going to print like this we want to attach it and make it print the way we have on our screen here we want this to be one whoops 
this to be one sticker, this to be another sticker. So what we're going to do, drag and select what we want our one sticker to be, and we're going to hit flatten. That's going to make it one thing. Then we're going to go over here, whoops, drag what we want to be our next sticker, hit flatten. Now when we go hit make it, we'll have a Monday and a Tuesday sticker. And you can't see it because we changed the background to be white so that nothing would print and it would just be the white blank sticker paper. Now you have your um, uh, date headers. So we would just do, like I said, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And the best thing about this is you can go back, let's say it's the next week, or maybe you're planning a couple weeks in advance. You can keep this template to edit later and you can even change up the fonts. So what we can do is just save it as something like date header template. I don't want it to be public. Save. And then next week we can go and change the fonts around or we can use the same fonts but unflatten them and maybe we've got a different color we want to use the next week. Maybe we're thinking it's like a purple theme. You know, we could do that, make it a little bit lighter and do that. Um, it's really cool to save your own little templates that you can use, you know, going forward and be creative with fonts. So super easy to design stickers in Cricut Design Space. You don't have to have, especially date headers, you don't have to have, um, you know, ridiculous programs that you may be too intimidated to use. Cricut Design Space is a good program. It can do what you need it to do. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I will leave a link down below and linked in the card up here at the top. All of my Cricut Design Space and Design With Me making planner stickers with your Cricut Explore videos. Um, I've got a ton of them. Some are using Cricut Design Space. Some are using Inkscape, which I love Inkscape. It's a great design software if you want to get really, really super creative. Um, I will also leave a link to the Printable of the Month Club. It is a monthly printable over on my Patreon page. Every month I will upload a new printable for you all and you can um, print it, use it, love it, everything. And be sure to join the Cricut Ready Stickers group. It is Cricut Ready Stickers over on Facebook. You can also find me on Instagram. It's at 5 16ths and more on the blog, 5 16thsblog.com. So hope you enjoyed this. I will see you on my next video. Make sure you go over to the Hungry JPEG and check out this Augusto bundle. It is a really great bundle of really cool fonts. You can make a ton of date headers with all of these fonts, mixing and matching them with different handwritten fonts and then different sort of like bold type fonts. So I think I'm done rambling here. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.